Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. I'm going to teach you some cross-site scripting by one of my own labs. Now, this lab is heavily inspired by Brute Logic's cross-site scripting cheat sheet, so you can also grab it from the page, and it's the get slash 11.php challenge. Now, if I send my greetings on the page, I can see there is some reflection in the HTML context. So, of course, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to insert maybe some um, HTML tags. I always try to do it with an image source equals X on air equals alert. But as you can see, it's not working in this instance. And you might have already seen that I've tried to put this in, in, in there, the greater than sign. Now, the problem is with this challenge is at the moment, it doesn't filter that completely. It doesn't tell you what it does. But the moment that you enter this into the input field, it's going to trigger HTML entities, which is going to make it so that you can't insert a normal HTML tag. But that's okay, because if I can just remove that last, that greater than sign and send this to the server, this is going to pop up my alerts. Now, why is this happening? You might be wondering. Well, it's basically all got to do with how the browsers interpret the HTML specification, because some browsers will fix the broken HTML tags like this one um some might not it's all about interpretation like the broken tags will they get closed will they get fixed will they get removed completely that's also maybe an option it all depends on the browser and you really have to check if one thing is getting filtered okay maybe i can try something else maybe i can try and put in the image i'm going to try this one maybe and instead of that i can do the um, and percent greater than and so the html entity now what happens if i send my greetings now uh, i think i need to send it here because i think i might have broken something yeah that also works so <clears throat> as you can see i don't always need the less than and greater than sign so if they are filtered you can try that you can try leaving them out you can try putting a uh, m percent less than sign here it's also possible apparently that is not working at the moment so it, it really depends on how the browser interprets what's going on at the moment it's not displaying anything so i might have either typed something wrong or it's not interpreting it correctly um, maybe if i remove that greater than sign and replace it with a actual greater than sign nope still nothing so it really is that less than sign that's making trouble okay so this is how i test for cross-site scripting basically i'm just going to keep on trying and trying and trying until i find something but you have to know this trick that if you remove that last greater than sign that your browser might complete the html and you might get around filters in that way thank you very much for watching amazing hackers and i hope i will see you in the next video bye bye